lasting traditions, making connections, impacting lives. This is your Illinois Masonic Outreach Services Program. that I will aid and assist all worthy distressed Brother Master Masons, their widows and orphans. The Illinois Masonic Outreach Services Program, or IMOS, helps fellow Master Masons and their families through the toughest of times. The program's mission is to bridge the gap between community resources and member needs, to promote physical, social, financial, and personal enrichment to enhance the quality of life for our membership. This video is designed to inform all lodges and the Masonic membership about the many valuable services and programs available to Illinois Master Masons, wives and widows. The IMOS program was established in 2008 in response to the needs of the membership. In the past, the Grand Lodge operated a nursing home facility in Sullivan, Illinois, which worked very well in its day. However, with the changing times, we as a fraternity are changing with them and are working more efficiently within our charitable programs to provide improved and better services. Instead of serving a few individuals in one specific area, IMOS can now assist members throughout the state of Illinois and even those who reside out of state. In many cases, this allows members to remain in their own home, near family and loved ones, it also allows us to assist members with a variety of needs, not just the level of care a nursing home can provide. This cost-effective approach enables IMOS funds to serve more Illinois Masons and their families. So what is IMOS? It is the Illinois Masonic Outreach Services Program. In the next few minutes, we'll share with you some examples of how these programs can make a dramatic improvement in the quality of lives of your members. You'll also learn about how your lodge can participate and better serve your membership. We'll be discussing four major program components, financial assistance, information, advocacy and referral, widow support, and volunteer services. Before I got the help from IMAS, there was no way I could pay all my monthly bills. There just wasn't enough money to go around. But with the assistance and the money they give me, I'm now able to pay all the bills Financial assistance. Financial assistance is available in several forms. Monthly assistance aids individuals whose income isn't enough to meet their basic monthly expenses. We assist widows who have to survive only on Social Security or members who experience unforeseen and temporary hardships, such as medical expenses, home health care, a temporary absence from work, or to receive care outside the home. The IMAS program, and it's only through their help that I'm able to stay here. Uh, they help me keep my house, and the money helps me for me to have things I need. And the IMAS program is what made it possible for me to have my independence, to stay in the home I love that I've lived 45 years in. And the other pay, masons will pay part of it and allow me so I can stay here. You know, we're beginning to need some help from Mom due to the fact that she's almost 92 years old and uh, her funds are beginning to dwindle. IMOS means a lot to us by having mom happy and safe here in the home and we appreciate the help very much. Sometimes members are able to get by month to month with their basic monthly expenses but unable to deal with any extra or unexpected costs. Back in December the 27th my wife passed away. We didn't have no life insurance or anything like that, so the, lot, the Grand Lodge helped. Talia has been a great help. They've helped before. They help with the burial expenses. They've helped me before and they help me every month. Without their help, I couldn't make it because I only have one income and it's a permanent income. The only way I do is because of them. They're a great organization. If you need help, you got to ask for it because if you don't, they don't know you need help. So let the master of your lodge know. Don't be, you know, we all have pride, but sometimes you got to push it aside. 
In these cases, IMOS offers financial help with one-time assistance. This may include helping people with funeral expenses, eyeglasses, dental work, medical bills, hearing aids, wheelchair ramps, and etc. When my wife died, the cemetery told me on a Friday that I had to have $1,575 by Monday morning, otherwise they would not bury her on Tuesday. So I went to the outreach program to, for help. They've been very gracious. They've been helping me quite a bit. If it wasn't for the Grand Master and the outreach program, I would not have been able to bury her. I had one hearing aid, and the, the hearing aid man kept telling me that I'd hear better if I had two. Mm -hmm. So I said, I, don't, I can't afford two because they're $1,400 a piece. Right. So Sue said, well, here, let me get you in contact with somebody that can help you. The IMOS program has really helped me. It helped me with hearing aids and glasses, and I'm sure it helps everybody throughout the state. If you or someone you know is in need of monthly and or one-time assistance, please contact the IMOS director or visit our website to complete an application. Once an application has been made, a representative from the IMOS program will contact you to arrange for a home visit so that any and all needs can be assessed in greater detail. Emergency relief is available to Masonic members and their families when disaster strikes. Financial assistance from IMOS will be used for financial relief of a Masonic nature, such as the help given to flood, hurricane, and tornado victims in the past. I'm C.A. Muggy, and this is my wife, Ruth. We've been married for 68 years, and I belong to the Harrisburg Lodge number 325 in Harrisburg, Illinois, for 64 years. We got married, we, my father gave me some land, and I built a house there. Her father and her brothers built the house for me. The amount given is to be determined on a case-by-case -case basis, dependent on the type of disaster and individual needs. It was thunder and lightning when we went to bed, but we didn't think anything about it. We got up to see what was wrong, and as we went across the, we had a big, huge, big window in the living room, and as we went across it, you saw, you saw the tornado, didn't you? Yes. Types of financial assistance available but not limited to include assistance with the cost of repairs to a primary residence, assistance with paying insurance deductibles, paying for the cost of a hotel stay, assistance with paying for food and other basic needs. We lost everything in the house through the tornado, but we got the most important thing, we got each other. For a complete detailed explanation of our Illinois Masonic Disaster Relief Plan, please contact the IMOS director or refer to the IMOS website. The IMOS program helped us in so many ways. We'll never forget how important that was to us. We appreciate it very, very much. We were told about the matching grant from our Grand Lodge uh, a couple of times from our district deputy. Matching grants are offered to assist lodges' efforts to assist their members. Once a lodge determines a financial need for an individual and makes a donation, the IMOS program will offer $1 of matching funds for every $1 of cash contributed by the lodge, up to $1,000. Our lodge was able to raise $300 to give to Doug Adams, our brother, and matching grants through IMOS was able to provide another $300. Simply have your lodge secretary submit a matching grant application form, along with a copy of the check showing the amount donated to the IMOS director. It was really seamless uh, thing, and that way we, gave, we were able to give Doug an extra $300. Last, the IMOS program offers financial relief in the form of our dues assistance program. A couple years ago, we found ourselves in a financial crunch, crunch and one of the ways we were getting out of it is by raising our dues and we had some members who came to us and said I just can't afford it I'm on a fixed income and after talking with them and then uh, talking with the people at IMOS at Grand Lodge we were able to uh, utilize that dues assistance program where the lodge paid part of the dues and then the IMOS paid the other part. IMOS helps fund up to 50 percent of a member's dues when demonstrated financial difficulty exists. 
Lodge secretaries can submit a dues assistance application on behalf of members who are unable to pay their dues, but wish to remain an active member of the Lodge. Now, th this program, the dues assistance program, allows members who otherwise would have to be suspended for non-payment of dues uh, to remain an active member of the Lodge and stay in the fraternity. IMO's staff is available to answer questions and make referrals to other agencies in their community for specific services needed by the individual. Talia Dean had come to our lodge and introduced to us the outreach program. In which case, uh, I didn't say anything myself, but my, my brother John Bond did, had told her about me. And so we got, got it set up and I talked to Talia. And so I needed some dental work done and some other things taken care of. And the outreach program pulled me in just like a long lost child and, and took great care of me. Additionally, IMOS helps members identify state and federal programs they could be benefiting from, such as Medicaid, food benefits, and utility assistance. Additionally, the IMOS program can be your connection to the Advocate Illinois Masonic Medical Center in Chicago. Uh, I've been up to the Masonic Hospital in Chicago. Uh, where we've had wonderful treatment. People treat you good up there and uh, they have uh, covered 100% of the cost. Qualified Illinois Masons and their families may be able to receive free health care services at this facility. IMOS can assist in the referral process. They're prompt with everything that they do and they're very courteous, very professional and those people up there are just good as gold to me. Widow support. The loss of a loved one is a difficult time. IMOS cares and is here for support and encouragement. The Masonic Temple and the Masonic people meant everything to Bob. Being a Mason was something that he'd wanted to do all of his life. Whether it is sending a birthday card, a letter of condolence, presenting a Bible, or paying a visit, IMOS staff assists in the healing process. Uh, when Bob passed away, in, September, in October of 2009, I didn't know what I was going to do. And then this friend of mine, uh, Steve Bell, who is the Worshipful Master over, at, over in Diona, Illinois, told me to call these people. Rest assured that your spouse will be well taken care of in the event of a member's passing. Your loved one will always remain a part of our Masonic family. So he gave me the number and I called, and this young lady, who I just adore, uh, answered her phone and I told her what had happened. And it's called IMUS. And she said, let me see what I can do for you. If you think that a widow of a member has a need, IMOS staff will be glad to talk with a person on the phone or visit them in person at their home anywhere in the state. The Masons have been just fantastic to me when it comes to money because they, and support, support. Talia has been my support link when I call her she doesn't mind talking to me. And of course, with the passing of a Mason, we can also assist your lodge and widow to arrange a Masonic funeral service, if necessary. Volunteer services. Volunteer opportunities are available to members wishing to make a difference in the lives of their lodge families. Such opportunities may include preparing and delivering meals to homebound members, serving as a friendly visitor and companion, and helping around the home with maintenance and upkeep. One of our programs that we do is, um, is basically a, uh, a dinner for all of our winnows. It's usually a four to five course meal. One thing to remember is that it's very important for, for us as Masons to go out and be connected with our widows. And not just a phone call, but actually go out and see them. Well, what it's meant to us in our lodge, uh, helping Ruby, is that uh, when you help people, you feel good yourself. And she's been so incredibly grateful. My advice to other lodges is that why you should do this is because we all took the same oath and we all have the same responsibilities to not only our brothers but also their widows and orphans. To get your lodge more involved, remember these three words. Ask, offer, and refer. First, ask. Contact your lodge officers or IMOS to find out if there are any needs in your area. Second, offer. Identify your interest to be of assistance. And last, refer. If you are aware of a member, wife, or widow in need, simply refer them to IMOS via the prepaid referral cards found in each lodge. 
And one of the most important programs we have is the IMOS program because I think it basically describes masonry. When we find a brother in need and uh, manage to help our brother, then the IMOS program is there to back us up or to offer help that even we can't offer. As a district deputy, I encourage all my brother district deputies to also look into this program. Remember, you are the eyes and ears of the Illinois Masons. When you think a brother or his family is in need, please refer them to IMOS so that help can be provided. We understand that many Masons are too proud to ask for help themselves. However, many experience a need, and we have a program to help them get back on their feet. That favor may be returned many fold to other members in the future. Anybody that, wants, that needs this type of help, please do not be shy, um, because this could cost you your life. It, it could have cost me my life. And because of these people helping me out, I have a brighter future ahead of me. So please, if you need to help, don't be afraid to ask. Let somebody help you. And if you feel like you owe somebody and you want to try to pay them back, just help somebody else. You are a Mason because of your commitment to our brotherhood. As a member of this fraternity, each member was taught to promote community and human welfare and inspire acts promoting benevolence, charity, and goodwill toward all mankind. Translating Masonic principle and conviction into personal actions, ultimately making the world in which we live a better place. These core values of the Masonic fraternity are achieved through our IMOS program. They're caring, they're there, they're an outreach, but yet they're so close, you're like family with them. And you can depend on them. You know they're not gonna let you down. They never will, they never have. It's wonderful, I think. That, uh, mm -hmm. I was really appreciative that I got the help that I did. Well, I want to thank all the Masons uh, and all around for helping me. And I can, will be able to stay here. And I'm still getting the money every month, and it has allowed me to stay here. And I really thank the Masons, and I thank Talia so very, very much. My whole heart is in this program. It is the best organization that the Masons have ever had. It is important for me to, uh, to say to everyone, without the AMOS program, uh, we would not be able to do the things that we do. And on behalf of the Lodge, I can only say thank you. Lasting traditions, making connections, impacting lives. This is your Illinois Masonic Outreach Services Program.